Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is going to be uh, very simple. It's it's a very quick change, but um, this is how to get metallic and uh, neon blocks in your game. Uh, basically, if you do this, um, it will change all the objects in your game to metallic or neon. So. Uh, if you would like to do that, then I would definitely do it. Um, but then again, you cannot make only certain objects neon and certain objects metallic. It's either all or none. So it's kind of like a hit or miss, but um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So if we go to edit, um, we can go to objects and get our uh, world node on. So uh, this is a really, really simple um, tutorial. It's it's not difficult to do it. But if we go into the settings of the world, we have a lot of different options here. But if we go to object appearance, that's what we want. Uh, basically, any type of object, it will change the appearance to either uh, default, metallic, or neon. So um, we're going to go ahead and check out metallic first. So if we go ahead and press that, and uh, we can go ahead and take any type of object out. So um, simple object and then uh, box. So if we go ahead and look at the box now, uh, it looks like a gold color because it's yellow, but also um, we have the object appearance, uh, appearance set to uh, metallic. So it looks like a metallic yellow. Um, this works with any color. So uh, you can change it uh, basically to, to any color you want. So let's let's try light blue. So if we go in light blue, it looks like a metallic light blue. Um, and that's exactly um, what we want. Uh, I'll go ahead and change uh, maybe to a different color. Let's try um, green. Why not green? Um, and yep, see, there we go. So it changes to like a green metallic color. And of course, this works with any type of shape. So if we change it to like a cylinder, um, our cylinder will also be that that same metallic color um, and then I'll go ahead and just show you guys it works the same with a sphere so if we go ahead and look it looks like a very um, you know metallic sphere I guess <laughs> so uh, that's pretty much it for the metallic but now we can go ahead and look at what the neon looks like so if we go back to world and settings and then object appearance if we go ahead and set things to neon uh, I, I've seen a couple of projects that utilize the neon appearance and I think they look really good, but then again, you can only have neon objects. So you'd have to definitely make that decision. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what the neon looks like. So if we go to objects and let's go ahead and just grab a regular box. Um, if we look in the game, it appears, uh, very, very neon. It's very bright. Um, and where the magic really happens is if we go ahead and go back into the world and we change the uh, world lighting to pitch black. Um, or you can change it to outer space too, but I'll show you guys just with pitch black. So if we go look in the game, um, it really, really shines. So I think it looks really, really cool because um, you can get a, a lot of different colors and it emits that same uh, yellowish light. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look at some of the other colors. So uh, let's try red. If you go and do red, uh, it looks a little bit weird, actually. I haven't tested out red, but it's that same sort of neon color. Um, I think some of the colors are actually a lot brighter than the others. Let me go ahead and try yellow. Yeah, yellow is definitely a lot brighter. You can see that it has that uh, emitting uh, color off of it. Um, and we'll try maybe one more color. So let's try, uh, let's try white. Yeah, so it's like really, really bright. Um, we can also change, of course, the um, objects with it. So if we go to cylinder, it will appear as um, cylinder. And if we go ahead and change it to sphere, that will also appear as like a really cool looking sphere. Um, and I just wanted to test it out to see what it looks like in outer space. It should be um, still really bright. Yeah, it still looks extremely bright. Um, so you guys could definitely mess around with this. Um, they have the same properties of objects where you can make them destruct uh, destructive, you know, or you can make them movable or, or any type. But then again, um, any object that you place in the world 
will be that same neon color or that same me metallic color. Um, these exclude um, any of the fancy objects because they have their own properties. So if we go ahead and just grab a random one, um, we can see that it's not neon. Um, we can also do the same like if we look at you know, the shipping container, for instance, um, it's not neon either. So uh, it only works with the simple objects, um, just to take in that account. Um, but hopefully you guys uh, found this tutorial helpful. I know it was kind of short, but um, that's pretty much everything to go over to make metallic and neon um, objects in the game. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, catch you in another tutorial. Bye-bye.